in this tip of the day, let's take a look at the new 1CNC XR9 two rail sweep surface. Now let's begin by turning off our flanges layer and let's take a look at the required wireframe geometry. Now whenever you're creating a swept surface, you're going to need rails and cross sections. Now I've defined the rails as the light blue geometry and the cross sections as the dark blue geometry. Let's go ahead and create one of those surfaces right now. We'll head over to the command manager, select the surfaces category, and from there we're going to select two rail sweep. I'm going to select the first rail by left clicking, select the direction, and then the very end of the rail. That looks great. Now let's select the second rail. I'm going to left hand click, select the direction, and then select the very end of the rail and then right hand click. Now it's time to select the cross sections. Same procedure, left click, select the direction, and then the end. Let's do the same on the remaining cross sections. That looks great, just one more cross section, left click. There we go, and when we're finished, just right hand mouse click. All right, so there's our brand new two rail swept surface. Now, if I wanna mirror this, I might wanna change my construction plane. Let's change my construction plane to my flange one. Let's select the surface and let's use mirror. I'm going to use this as the mirror line. That looks great. We can turn our construction plane tools off now and let's turn our flange layer back on. And there you go. There's a great example of the new 1CNC XR9 two rail swept surface. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And don't forget to click the subscribe button.